we saw several legends retire after 2023. Miguel Cabrera, a former two-time MVP, or even Nelson Cruz, a seven-time MLB All-Star. Unfortunately, there comes a time for every player to retire, and I'm going to be giving you five players who should and likely will retire after the season. Starting off this list, we have Clayton Kershaw. He made his Dodgers debut all the way back in 2008. In his time, they made the playoffs in every single year outside of three seasons. He's been a very big part of their winning, winning even three Cy Youngs for himself throughout his career. He's turned into a Dodgers legend and a fan favorite, but it's time for him to go and hit the retirement home. In 2021, his season was cut short and he missed the postseason. 2022, he landed on the IL with a hip injury. 2023 was going a lot better for Kershaw. Even at 35 years old, he was doing so well. 246 ERA, great season statistically. He was huge, putting up a great season, but then things started to get real bad. He was struggling as a pitcher, and he even had to get surgery after the season. This surgery is going to be keeping him off the mound for quite a while. He eyes a 2024 summer return, although he is still a free agent. So he still has to decide, will he play in 2024? Based on a report from The Athletic, the Dodgers are keeping the door open for Kershaw to return and hopes he decides to finish his career with the Dodgers. If he chooses to come back, 2024 will hopefully be his last year. New pitchers are joining the Dodgers, not to mention they also have young players who are ready to be in the rotation. I do believe that 2024 will be the end for Clayton Kershaw. Now moving on, we have another Dodgers legend in Justin Turner. Turner entered the league all the way back in 2009, but his career really took off whenever he joined the Dodgers in 2014. Year in and year out, he was a fan favorite across baseball. It all paid off in 2020 when Justin Turner and the Dodgers won the World Series. Fast forwarding a few years now, a lot has happened. 2022 was the first year that he truly showed regression. The Dodgers made the decision to go and let him walk. He ended up signing with the Boston Red Sox. His 2023 campaign actually went really well statistically, and after having such a good season, he decided that he would be coming back and would be playing another year. He's currently a free agent, and we don't know what team he's going to be playing with. But age impacts every single player, and I expect the soon-to-be 40-year-old to retire after 2024 on a very high note. Next up, we have Charlie Morton, a lot like Clayton Kershaw. He also entered the league in 2008. He developed really well throughout his time, putting together some really awesome years. The two-time World Series champion is now 40 years old, and according to The Athletic, he considered retiring after 2022 and after 2023. But after having so much success, he decided to just continue playing. The Braves decided to pick up his 2024 option, and that did ultimately confirm that he would be back for one more year. As cool as it is that he is coming back, it is probably his last year. The Braves made a trade, getting Chris Sale into the rotation, and they extended him through 2025. That extension tells me that they need a veteran pitcher for 2025, and that tells me that Charlie Morton will not be back. And if he does inevitably retire, I will go ahead and say he had a great career. Plus, he started his career with Atlanta. Why not go and end it with the Atlanta Braves while he can? By the way, speaking of a player who ended it with the team that they began with, we have Andrew McCutcheon, and it feels like it's been forever since he was that MVP player back in 2013. Making insane plays, leading the Buccos to the postseason, he was a superstar. But eventually, it all came to an end. January 15th, 2018 was a heartbreaking day if you were a Pittsburgh Pirates fan. Andrew McCutcheon, the star, was traded away. Yeah, they got Brian Reynolds, great trade in hindsight, but at the time, fans were really upset. Fans wanted him back, and they wanted him back in Pittsburgh from the second that he left. Unfortunately, it took many years to get him back. On the fortunate side, though, at least he did come back. January 13th, 2023, Andrew McCutcheon returned. The Pittsburgh legend himself was back. 
He gave the message that he wanted to win games. The 37-year-old was not the same player, but he gave it his all. His 2023 went well, but the Pirates were a 76-win team. Not good enough to make the postseason, but they had young players. In fact, they do as we speak. He re-signed for the 2024 season to go and play with the young guys, but it looks like it will be his farewell. Now, McCutcheon has already said that it is not his farewell and that he does want to continue playing, but if we're going to be realistic, the Pirates have players that are coming up in the farm system as we speak. There won't be enough room for him in the starting lineup at some point. 2024, yes, there will be room, but after 2024, it is really tough to say. To make matters worse, he also partially tours a Achilles tendon at the end of the year. 2024 being his final year would not be a bad thing as long as they go out on a high note and they are competitive. The Young Bucks are coming up. McCutcheon could be on his way out after 2024. For our last player, we have a guy who's been on a losing team for a long time. You know what? A lot like McCutcheon has, actually. And that player is Charlie Blackman. The 37-year-old battled with injuries throughout 2023, missing a full two months of the season. Regardless, he was still good, and he put together a very good year, actually. Blackman was huge for the Rockies offensively. The only problem is that his performance really didn't matter. Finishing the season as a 103 loss team, it was another meaningless season for Charlie Blackman and the Rockies. He was unsure about his future for 2024, but later on decided that he will play. He signed a one-year extension with the team, and considering he got injured last year, with them only getting older, the Rockies are likely not going to be good, I think it's time to go and retire. All of those things are going to result in 2024 being his farewell year. It's sad to say, but it's also the true reality. He's been with Colorado for such a long time, but every good thing comes to an end. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already, and peace out.